So this is just a really quick video. So I've started to do some of the mod bits that I wanted to, to get done for the end of the summer or autumn or whatever the hell it is now. And the first thing that has arrived are these tech spec grips. So let's see if I can get that to focus in. So uh, this is like the, I'm not sure what this is classed as actually. I think it's maybe snakeskin. Let's take a quick look. Um, does it say? No, it doesn't actually say which type they are. But they, there you have it. Um, the reason why I wanted to go with these tech spec ones was because of the fact that it has this section here and this section here. Uh, and I, I think that's going to just add quite nicely to to the amount of, of grip that you can get with your legs on the tank. And it also includes the top part as well. So I've taken off the, there was a pretty nasty, tacky, old school looking gel type thing that was on there. So that's come off. Uh, in terms of like the quality, it's not bad. I've actually seen other people's videos where the cut seems to be a little bit nicer. Um, but the this shape is it's not too sad. I think it could do with being a little bit wider out on this bottom end, just to get it to shape into the tank a bit more. I think that probably would have been quite nice. This one has got no straight line on it, which obviously is really frustrating when you're trying to you know, fit it to a piece of plastic that essentially has got a really flush line. Um, but in general, they're, they're actually a really good quality build. I've had, in the past, I've had uh, Stomp Grips, I think was the first one I bought, which was this sort of, they were like clear through ones, and they were really crap to put on because it ended up with loads of sort of bubbling. None of that has happened with this one, which is great. Um, there, It's quite a, like a solid, piece so uh, it just rolled on quite nicely uh, and the same with the tank as well I always hate putting these on these center pieces because you never know whether you're going to get it straight or not but that's actually gone on quite nicely and quite straight you see there's a little what looks like a little bit of bubbling in the um, in it here but that's actually just part of the texture it's not bubbling at all the only thing that's worth mentioning about the, the tech spec grips is that I bought them off of a store on eBay. Obviously tech spec is an American company and uh, I thought that it was the cheapest and then when they arrived they didn't actually pass through customs so I ended up having to pay another £11 through customs. So I think in total it was probably closer to 50 quid for this kit which I think is steep for what is essentially some pieces of cut out plastic. Uh, make of it what you will, but I feel like this is actually a slightly better kit than the standard RNG one that's available, uh, which I'd fitted towards the end on the Jixa. I had the RNG ones on it and they were fine, you know, they totally did the job, but I felt that they were perhaps a little bit overpriced, like most of RNG stuff. These, these are from ProBolt, so I'll probably try and get all of them from ProBolt as I sort of work my way around. They do fairing kits and stuff as well, although I think the fairing kit would probably look a little bit shit uh, if they were all red. So, because, you know, the fairing, like these parts are black, so I'd rather get black ones just to flush this out. I think that'll look pretty cool. Um, and then possibly red ones just to sort of create a bit of detailing around the engine casing. I think that might work quite well. I don't know whether Yamaha does something similar to the Suzuki kits where you've got the kind of like faux carbon fiber lock covers. If they had, then I'd be quite tempted to get something like that. But the reason why I put those is obviously because it matches up with the subframe. This is going tomorrow. So I've received an email from DPD saying that the airbox cover was being delivered tomorrow so I've got carbon fiber airbox that's coming in to replace this so at the end of the week I'll put up a video just to show what that looks like I'm still not totally sure about the actual how you fit it all but I think I've seen a couple of things I'm pretty sure it's just on a handful of plastic clips and maybe there's some screws on the underside but it'll be a case of tank up I'm not going to take the tank off just take the tank up see if there's any like 
imagine it's going to be like clips around and it just comes off off the uh, the connector with the with the actual petrol tank at the back because the box itself isn't in here it sits inside the frame um, that's pretty much it I think uh, so obviously if you've checked my previous video about the ECU failure and all of the faffing that went on with that which turned out to be a shorted wire that has not actually completely resolved itself yet because I've just checked the front right indicator bulb and it is not working all the others are though so I thought it was probably the bulbs gone went out and bought a pack of bulbs swapped it out did ch actually check the original bulb which I've got up here somewhere um, that's probably not gonna work is it really let's be honest but yeah I mean look at that that's that's not actually broken is it so but I wasn't sure because it's it's quite um, quite frayed on the on one end it goes really narrow but there's nothing wrong with it so that means there is a short somewhere which I guess is going to be down in there um, this is the side which I've had off the most ironically so I know that there's the clip on here and a rectifier and stuff so I'm just going to check it, it might be just something's come loose I also am not entirely sure whether that is a new development like within the last couple of days or whether that's been happening for a while I just happened to notice that the indicator light was flashing like crazy um, that's it